at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, October 7, 2022, best destination for SoftBank's ARM IPO is nowhere. For Masayoshi Sun, the biggest question is not where to list ARM, but when. The boss of Japanese tech conglomerate SoftBank Group has been pushing for an initial public offering of the Cambridge based chip designer after US semiconductor giant Nvidia abandoned its takeover earlier this year. The downturn in chip sales and choppy markets mean he would be wiser to wait. Sun is leaning towards listing ARM in the United States, home of big tech companies like Apple and Tesla. But the UK government has lobbied to lure the Cambridge based company to London, reversing the loss of an industry leader when SoftBank swooped in 2016. Ministers have been dangling potential tax benefits and investments in research and development, people familiar with the matter told Breaking Views. One option would be for ARM to list in London while offering American depository receipts to US investors. That would replicate the structure the company adopted before its $32 billion sale to SoftBank. ARM would then be eligible for inclusion in both the FTSE 100 and NASDAQ 100 indexes. However, neither exchange will deliver Sun his hope for price tag of $60 billion. Take a selection of US and European chip companies which play different roles across the supply chain, NVIDIA, Advanced Micro Devices, Intel, Rambus and ASML. Including net debt, these companies on average trade at 6.5 times the revenue analysts expect them to produce in 2022, Refinitiv data shows. Assume that ARM's top line this year grows at the 15% forecast average rate for its five peers, reaching $3 billion. Applying the same average multiple, its enterprise value would be less than $20 billion. Besides, the IPO market remains slow. In the first half of 2022, companies on both sides of the Atlantic raised $29.4 billion through public listings, compared with over $150 billion in the same period last year data for May shows. NVIDIA and rival chipmakers such as Qualcomm have warned of a slowdown in sales of chips for gaming devices and smartphones. The Philadelphia Semiconductor Index is down 36% this year. SoftBank has borrowed against its ARM shares. However, credit analysts at Sant Global reckon the company has enough cash to repay corporate bonds maturing in the next two years. That gives SoftBank some time for ARM's push into other semiconductor markets such as autonomous vehicles to bear fruit. In the meantime, the best IPO destination is nowhere. SoftBank Group Chief Executive Masayoshi Sun proposed a long-term cooperation between chip designer ARM and Samsung Electronics but did not propose that the South Korean firm invest in the British company, Reuters reported on October 5, citing a local media report. Sun who was making his first visit to Seoul in three years, said earlier that he'd like to talk with Samsung about a strategic alliance with ARM, which the Japanese company bought in 2016. At SoftBank's annual shareholder meeting in Tokyo on June 24, Sun said that the company was most likely to list ARM on the Nasdaq exchange, while stressing it had not decided. Sun said there were also requests to list ARM in London without elaborating on where they came from. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.